We're going to do a teaching video on the impact of low-dose ketamine on pain. This young lady here has a rare form of cancer, malignant, has had a lot of surgeries. We're going to mask her face, but um, I saw her a couple of days ago for this pain, and her pain, she had had multiple uh, pain medications, strong pain medications, Dilaudid and morphine, and, and, um, and her pain still just was not getting better. Uh, it's had multiple belly surgeries, and the pain the pain was in your abdomen, right, ma'am? Yes. Is that right? Yes. And, um, and so the workup at that time, um, in the end, it just looked like she was just having severe, unrelenting pain due to this cancer. So we went ahead and did low-dose ketamine, and her pain, and, and the low-dose ketamine was basically uh, 0.25 to 0.3 milligrams per kilogram, and... Um, and it was given slowly so you don't get the low-dose ketamine or the emergent type reaction in over 15 minutes. And um, she went through a period of being just a little bit altered due to, the, due to the ketamine. And then afterwards her pain was gone. And I saw her, I'm seeing her back today for uh, some other medical complaint, physiological, physi physiologic complaint. And um, I asked her though, I said, when you left here the other day you were pain free. And um, how long did that pain relief last? And she said two days. Was that correct? Yes, sir. When the pain came back, was it um, as severe or was just it wasn't as bad as it was? It wasn't, no. All right, so you had two days of like almost complete pain relief, right? Yes. All right, from this low-dose ketamine, which I think the low-dose ketamine kind of resets the pain thermostat, and it's kind of and we call it opiate sparing, but. Because she was so dramatic and had such a good response on this, I thought her story was worth telling because a lot of ERs uh, may not be aware that uh, ketamine can be used in this regard. Yeah, it lasted two days, and then I had to, you know, start on my other regular medication. So you didn't take any other pain medicines for two days? Mm -hmm. That's important information. I didn't know that, so I'm just learning that. So you didn't take any of your other pain medicines for two days mm -hmm. after that? after that uh, low-dose ketamine experience. And uh, so it took your pain from 9 or 10 out of 10 and, and, and took it to nothing, and then you didn't take anything else for two days. Very interesting. All right, thanks so much for letting us do this video. You're welcome.